What's going on, Vinyl Community? Joy Kim here. Hope everybody had a fantastic weekend. And uh, oh, next week, this week is as good as your weekend or better. This is a impromptu video. Little booze induced. Last beer until Friday. So no more beer until Friday. But anyways, come up with this not idea. This was just like a thought. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is sharing ten records that each record has multiple anthems, but there's a, a specific anthem that I want to highlight here. How did this come about? As simple as this. All the songs that I'm about to share with you guys are songs that either make me reminisce, either remind me of who I am, either make me dream, or empower me somehow. And um, the reason I'm here is to go on a rant, clearly. Let's see, let, let me try to explain how I feel about music in general. As you guys know, I listen to punk rock. I know more stuff, but I don't buy nothing than punk rock. And at the end of the day, I can survive listening to exclusively punk rock. I don't need nothing else in my life. I, I really don't. I really don't need nothing but punk rock. And um, from my perspective, uh, I don't know what motivated the teenagers in the late 70s to embrace punk rock. I don't know what, what was their motivation. Uh, probably the same as it was for me in the late 80s, early 90s. What inspired me, what pulled me towards punk rock was not the sound. It was the message. And uh, at the end of the day, I can listen to dumb as fuck, uh, catchy s songs now because, you know, I guess I evolved, you know, and uh, I can put purely just enjoy a well played, fun tune. But it was. Not always like that. He had to have some meaning, something that resonated with me, right? He, whatever I, I, I was listening to back then that made me such a die-hard fan of the punk subculture was the lyrics. It was not the sound, right? So... And I learned so much uh, thanks to punk rock than anything that I was ever taught, either by my parents, at school, by people that I met, by what I read, by what I saw on the TV. Punk rock really provided me the education that I needed to uh, pave my way through life and find myself as an individual. So, 10 anthems that if you're not familiar with, if these don't resonate with you, you're missing out in life. Here we go. 
straight out of My Brain Hurts from Screeching Weasel. There's no research here. Came out on 1991 on No Budget Productions. Classic record. Sorry about the glare. This song, and I encourage you, encourage you to take your time to read, listen and read if you can't understand the lyrics. This song, The Science of Myth. This is a song about religion, cults, ideas. This is a song that pushes the envelope saying anything that a human being thinks, believes can be productive if put in, put it, put it in a perspec perspective that all can collaborate and push towards something better. Descendants, Milo Goes to Call is a debut. This song, this song, there's many here, but By Cage. This is a song that uh, resonates with me, and I think it will resonate with any of you that have been part of a subculture during the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, even today. How many of you uh, don't know, know someone that was verbally, sexually, physically abused within your group. Uh, this is a song that reminds us uh, of the dark places that are around us. That reminds us how important it is for us to stood for the ones uh, that cannot stand for themselves. Replacements, Tim, Bastards of Young, God, what else do you need to hear rather than the ones that were forgotten picking cotton to be reminded how fucked up society it is and you have a role in it. You can be part of the change. Bouncing souls, how I spent my summer vacation. True believers. True believers. It's a song about the ones you, you know, the ones you met, no matter how good or bad they were. It reminds you how important it is to embrace them all and be genuine, non judgmental. You know, we're all. With the same shit. We're all the same. There's no color. There's no creed. There's nothing, dude. We all bleed fucking red. So embrace your brother. That's it. Respect. Cheers. This is punk, baby. That's what punk is all about. Impact. Fantastic band. Stand up and fight. Stand up and fight. A tune to, re to remind you that nothing will change through words. It's all about action. It doesn't matter how much you wish, you desire. It doesn't matter how many good intentions you have, you know, to be a part of something positive. But if you do not take action of any kind, nothing will ever change for you. So fucking do it. Switzerland, the amazing Chin Chin. One of, this is a banger of a tune. Never Surrender. You know, Blades have a song called Never Surrender. Great. Chin Chin, the way they deliver the, this song, how passionate, how so, desperately wanting to be heard they sound in this he wants you to never fucking surrender and be truth to yourself true to your belief and
Keep on going. Keep on moving. Fuck them all. Reducers. Crappy clubs and smelly uh, clubs. Showed on my last video of the third album. This is the second. This is a record for the ones that don't like punk rock and don't think punk rock is shit. White hide kids. Listen to that song. It's an anthem that tells you how alert, how well informed, how many good intentions these kids uh, that found a safe haven in a subculture that is punk uh, are willing to pursue. You know, there's no bullshit in punk. Punk rock was always about being friendly, always about being helpful, always about for standing what it's right, you know, according to basic standards of um, uh, human survival. It's never about competition. Always about be kind, be respectful, help if it's your call. But also, it was about standing against, against the status quo. Fucking anthem against the status quo. A anthem to remind you how strong you are. Sham69 from Tell Us The Truth. A little rich boy. Nothing against rich boys. It's nobody's fault to born rich. But it's a reminder that you can do it with less resources. You can go for it. You can pursue it. It's in you. It's up to you. Dogs d'amour. Errol Flynn. This is an anthem that will... It can empower. It can feel... It can make you feel depressed, uh, but it will empower you. How can drunk like me? How can anyone fall in love with a drunk like me? There's no doubt that every single human being pursues love, pursues validation, pursues attention. Nobody wants to be alone. And being a drunk doesn't help. So this is a song, it's a reminder that it's cool to have some brews, but don't let them take uh, the best of you away from you. Unless that's what you choose to. Eddie on the hot rods, do anything you want to do. That's right. If it is within... Uh, uh, within decency, within not impacting uh, anyone's life in a negative approach, yes, you can do anything you want to do. You can daydream, you can pursue, you can work hard to achieve whatever you want. It's all in you. Last but not least, GC5 horseshoes and hand grenades. And this is a song, love this song. This is a song. It's not an empowering song. It's a song to, it's a re, to remind us how easy it is to fucking be in part of the machine and being blind by it. Here's the lyrics for you. Coming out of the womb, the world feels like a tomb. We're heavily indebted. From the cradle to the grave, we're always slaves, always, tug, uh, always tugging at credit. See the misery and the poverty, and now they exacerbate it. While we're breaking our backs trying to pay back loans made to the dictators. And I don't know why we sacrifice our children, but it follows from your premises. They're just dollars and cents. They're just resources to expand. Somewhere there's a bottom line more important than yours. Yeah, and it's true. At the end of the day, you, me, we're not the most important. It's important to put ourselves first in order to find some emotional, mental stability. But at the end of the day, man, 
this is society, man. We need to participate in a proact in a productive way, in a proactive way. You know, in a we gotta be kind, man. This is all about kindness. And sorry about the rant, but that's what punk rock means to me. Deeply in my heart, now you know, for decades later, that's what punk rock uh, means to me. It's kindness. Just be kind. That's it. Cheers. You guys have a great week.